Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Teaching and Lifestyle in China as a Foreigner. On today's episode, I have with me uh, my boss, my friend, and we have a lot in common. And today I came to her to understand some Chinese culture. There are certain things foreigners do that we think it's normal, but with Chinese people, it's not normal. So uh, you get to know these things so that whenever you have dinner with Chinese people, you know how to go about with what to do. Uh, she mentioned her name and then we start the interview. Me, you tell us your name. Uh, I'm Yudia. Yudia. Yudia, I'm Gaoxin Ren Xin. I'm Gaoxin Ren Xin. Thank you. Um, what cultural difference do foreigners need to know about Chinese? Okay. When we eat in China, we need to pay attention to some things. For example, when we use the knife, we can't use it. 把筷子指向别人 so, uh, guys, what she's trying to say is that uh, when we have dinner with Chinese people, normally foreigners do not know, but they take the uh, chopsticks, quite as sugar, yes, and then put it inside the food like that, leaving it like that, or simply pointing the chopsticks to people beside the table. And uh, we want to know why can't we do that? Why? Why? So how do we put the chopsticks on the bowl? 通常可以把筷子放在碗的上面或者放在碗的边上这样是可以的 so uh, she just explained to us that the chopsticks doesn't need to be like this. It always needs to be like this before you get up or when you're eating, like when you're done eating, or you can put it like this. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one is, um, I got to understand when I came to China that you do not have to put on green hat. Yeah. Why, why is that? <laughs> why? Why should you put on green hat? <laughs> 一般如果一个男人的妻子跟另外一个男人发生了不好不该发生的事情不正当的关系然后呢我们会说这个女人给她的爱人戴了绿帽子所以呢中国的男人都不喜欢戴 happens if I don't know I'm a foreigner, should I worry? Then I put on the hat, then I come to school, down to shop. What happens? <laughs> okay, so uh all she So all she is trying to say is that long time ago in China there were two people who were married, a husband and a wife. But the wife was cheating. But to indicate to her lover that her husband is leaving town, she bought a green hat for her husband. So anytime the man is leaving town, the woman gave the hat to the man to put on. Just to tell the lover that the man is leaving and he's leaving for good, not coming back anytime soon. So in China, it is kind of funny whenever you put on a hat which is green, people think that your lover is cheating on you. Nationality. A lot of people like to eat pork in China, but there are certain ethnic groups who do not eat pork. The Hui nationality. I wanted to know why they do not eat pork. Why? 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 Uh, 
这个餐具里面，呃，碗啊或者什么这些都沾沾上了这个猪肉相关的这些东西的话，他们会觉得你是在冒犯他们。What I wanted to know is if Hui nationality people are around and you talk about pork, what happens? 嗯 ，talk about， 如果你只是谈起，他可能会提醒你不要去说这个事情。如果你要是在他面前吃这个东西，吃猪肉。Okay, so all she's trying to say is that the Hui national people you don't like to hear about pork because whenever you talk about that, it means you're offending them or they feel offended, so they might start a fight or do something very crazy. I know I don't like pork, Jia. Your Xiao Fei, uh, 到了中国没有小费，为什么？嗯，这个也是中国的一种习惯。自古至今都没有这样的一个习惯，嗯，也可能还跟这个经济水平有关系。Okay, so all she's trying to say is that you do not have、uh, the right, or you shouldn't do that in China when you buy food and you tip the waiter or the waitress. Other foreign countries they do that, but in China, when you buy food, you do not tip the waiter or the waitress. It has been a, a culture for a thousand years, for years now. You do not do that. So remember that as a foreigner, that whenever you come to China, you don't do all these things. How to use chopsticks? The next one is、um, talking about pork, and it's relevant. And the last one would be、um, tips. Talking about tips, do not tip the waiter or the waitress in China. Yuya, thank you for your time. 好的，谢谢，谢谢。